Hey y'all, it's your girl Lisa Mack and I am back with another planner related video. I wanted to introduce you guys to this month's scripture reading and writing plan. The title is Be Coming. Y'all, Shakisha and I are super excited about this month's scripture reading and writing plan. And if you would like to hear all about it, what it contains, what it's about, and watch me decorate my monthly spread, for this scripture reading writing plan, then just keep watching. So this is this month's scripture writing and reading plan. And this can be found over at Mary and Martha Plans over on Facebook, or you can go to Instagram. It's also there under Mary and Martha Plans. If you go to the Facebook page, there is a PDF file that you can download and copy this beautiful principle off. So this month's scripture writing and reading plan is designed to show you that who you were or who you are right now will not keep you from becoming who God has purposed you to be. So there are a lot of people in the Bible who were not perfect. God can use anyone. He can use anyone and you can become great. So we give examples followed by scripture showing you people in the Bible who were not perfect. Like on today, Genesis 24 and 1, Abraham was old. Yes, Abraham was old, but God called him to be the father of a nation he found a nation and he was the father he was the overseer of all of that but in his sin he was old he was like useless like you know people would think that he could not be used because he was older but God said no I'm gonna call you out and I'm gonna call you to find this new nation this nation that was undesignated land God sent him, he found it as an old man. So God can use anybody. And this is what this scripture reading and writing plan is all about. It's about you becoming who God called you to be, who God designed you to be, who God set for you to be. No matter what the circumstance is, no matter what you go through, no matter what you have done in the past, <laughs> it does not matter. God can still use you. So you guys go over to our Facebook page, Mary and Martha plans, download this printable and become with us, become with us because this is going to be a great, great, great Bible uh, study. It's going to be a great scripture reading and writing plan. Um, I feel like once you dive in and you get that scripture, I feel like the way we designed it, that it will encourage you to read the word a little bit further to understand who each of these people were. Like Elijah, he had suicidal thoughts. Like Elijah wanted to kill himself. He did not deem himself worthy, but God saw fit. God saw more in him. So on tomorrow, you can go in and you can read more about Elijah and who he was. So I feel like this is not just scripture reading and writing this month. I feel like this will engage you and it will you know it will tempt you to go in and read more about who these people were in the bible and it will give you a sense of who our father is who our god is and why we serve him and why he's so good and why he's so merciful and why he is just so worthy to be praised because we don't deserve his grace we don't deserve his mercy but he is worthy to be praised for giving it to us any way <laughs> he blesses us anyway even though we are not good enough he blesses us anyway so i hope you guys go over and i hope you guys join us so i love to prep my monthly spread using these scriptures i go in and i decorate my monthly and then i write in my scriptures each day so that i have it with me I do um, print out the principle, but I am keeping like a little scrapbook or keeping a little book so that once the year is over, I can go back and look at all of the scriptures that I've studied in the Bible. And I want to make sure that I highlight everything and all of that good stuff. So I'm kind of keeping these as keepsakes. So I love it. it. It takes us a lot of time to come up with this stuff. So I just hope and pray that you guys are appreciating it. So to decorate my monthly spread inside of my my faith planner i will be using this spring um overlay kit from print price lay you guys know that i love 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 myself some print price lay she is kelly is just amazing she's amazing at creating these principles and 
I just love using these. I print them out nine times out of 10 <laughs> on this Avery label paper because it's just easy. It creates a sticker. I can do it and go because I'm all about saving time. So um, I, I absolutely love this. I use this in my Bible, um, use it in all my planners, my Hobonichi weeks. I love this paper, love it. And if you are looking for a link for Print, Pray, Slay, then just check in the description box. I will have a link for um, Mary and Martha Plans Facebook group. There will be a link for Print, Pray, and Slay. Use my discount code to save yourself some coins. Um, and I also have an affiliate link down below for the pins that I will be using inside of my faith planner this month. And these are the Arteza uh, Vibrant Color Smear Proof Non Toxic non-toxic <laughs> acid-free retractable gel pins and so there is a pretty pink in here that i want to use so this pink and this purple i think will go really well with this kit and with this spread so this is what i'll be using if you would like to get your hands on some of these vibrant beautiful pins which i will have a pen test video coming soon on these pens because y'all they are just amazing and i don't think i showed you guys all of the colors so um yeah i'm gonna do a video showing you guys these vibrant beautiful colors but um yeah i have a link down below where you can grab some of these are beautiful pins so check that link out as well all right y'all let's just dive in and i'm gonna start i already um put down the word becoming and i use stickers from i want to say that these were from hobby lobby out of one of the agenda 52 sticker books pretty sure and now i just need to lord jesus find my scissors now girl now girl did you not have your scissors? Why are you not prepared? Uh -huh. Found them. And I am just going to cut out these butterflies because I feel like butterflies represent, you know, becoming, you know, turning into something great, coming out of that cocoon and just being great. So. I'm just going to put butterflies all over. Hmm, There's a lot of butterflies. You got butterflies everywhere. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, and then let's see. I'm gonna take this overlay piece. And I'm gonna kind of cut this close because I'm gonna have to write like around it. Hopefully I can write on it, but we'll see. And what I need to do is, let me go ahead and go in and write down the verses for those days that I'm covering up. So, Exodus 4 and 10. Okay, so now all of the scriptures are written down. So what I want to do now is see if this little overlay piece. I want to see if I take this big piece right here. I want to see if you can still see the scripture underneath. And you can. So... I'm going to lay that right there. Oh yeah, I like that. Ooh, baby, baby, I like that. I think I'm gonna put this other piece right here. Yep, I like that. And put another butterfly right here. And do we have any more? Okay, I love how this turned out. I love her overlay stickers. They are uh, 
amazing. I really love using them inside of my Bible because it just turns a page into something beautiful instantly. So you guys make sure that you go and check out Print Price Slay. And if you are looking for the link where you can download your principle for this month's scripture reading and writing plan called Becoming, then go and check us out. Like I said before, over on Facebook, you can check us out over on Instagram. We're there as Mary and Martha Plans. You want to jump in on this one. This one is going to be a good one. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big, big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding. That way, anytime I post a video, you'll be notified. But most of all, y'all be blessed. Keep planning, keep praying, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.